Remember, you can pause anytime you need. 可以随时按下暂停键 Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, so this time we are going to do the pencil crayon drawing. So make sure you have the dry media paper, not the watercolor paper. Okay. Then we need to have a pencils and erasers. We are going to do the peacock for today, okay? And we will focus on the tail, not the body or the face. We will focus on the tail. So we have to start to do the layout. So make sure that we are focus on the tail, nothing else, okay? So we are going to do the body, but the body is not that big. So I want you to do a oval. Like this small at the corner, okay. So you see, like the half size, the high is like the half size of the paper only, smaller than the half, about the same, smaller but about, okay. And it's right at the corner, so we have the big space to do the tail, okay. So oval. Then uh, right here, so we have the X is right here. So we are going to have one light and two lights right here, as long as we can. Okay, so it's almost on the edge of the paper. It's almost on the edge of the paper. One is going down, one is going right. Okay. Then we have to start to do the detail because we finished the layout. So we will do the body. Then you are going to decorate the tail by yourself. Okay. So then it zoom in. So inside the oval is including the head and the body. Okay. So this peacock has the long neck. Okay. They don't have the short neck like the chicken. They most like the swan or the flamingo. Okay, so I'm going to have a circle right here. I touch the oval. Then I have the body right here. The body and the head is not touching. Okay, so make sure the body is right here because the tail is right here. So make sure the tail and the body. Are overlap. They are overlap here. Okay, head and the body. Then we have to connect it with the neck. Neck curve, smooth. Make sure it looks smooth. And two lines. So one is looks long. Is all the way. To the left side of the body, and the small one is stop at the top of the oval. One here, okay. And he has a small wings. They can actually fly, but they have the wings, okay. So the reason I call him is because only the male pickup got the long, big tail. Okay, so we finished the head, neck, and the body. Now we are doing the wings. So the wing is about the half circle of the body, and it's over the body a little bit. Okay, then we are going to add the detail, the feather. Not too long. The feather. It looks like the small fingers, right? So let me clarify right here. And I can start to remove some light that I don't need it. So the wing is actually cover the body. So which means I don't need the body inside the wings. It's covered. I can see. Okay. And wait. You can add the decoration after we finish entire body. Then you can do it. Okay. Then we have head, neck, body, and the wings. Now we have to do their big. You can have the big goes down. Not too small. They are not a bird type. Okay. 
they are not it looks more like the swan as I mentioned so it should be a little bit long okay now you can begin to start to decorate your pickup so don't forget he has one eye on one side and he has the crown he has the pattern on the wings next okay so you can add the crown by yourself you can decorate your eye by yourself you don't have to copy Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. That's it, any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worry if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Okay, so before we start to do the tail, we have to do something before we start to add the detail of the tail. Okay, so remember we have two lines. One long, one short. And we have a corner right here, right? I want to divide the corner into half. So lines and one two one two okay so now i want to start to add in the pattern for the tail you again you are not going to copy you can create anything you like anything that you think that can make your picker looks fancy and nice okay so think about it before you actually do it okay and make sure each box are repeating okay so you are designing the pattern from top to the bottom and you are going to repeat the same thing for the second third fourth fifth and sixth okay now you can go ahead let's take your time to complete your join don't be rushed, you might need to think about it, imagine it, and create it, and jot them down. Uh, 
Okay, so you might need to think about it. How can you complete your drawing, and how can you make your drawing looks even better? So think about it before you start to add anything on it. Okay, so think and imagine and create it. Remember, don't be rushed. Take your time. Don't forget, good art always takes time. Remember, don't be rushed. Take your time. Let's see any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worry if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Okay, so when you finish your pickup, don't forget we have to start to trace with the markers. So feel free if you want to trace right now. Okay, so don't forget you have to trace with the lightweight. The big part use the fine marker. 
the small part use the pencil crayon or thin markers okay so big ones big area use the thick or fine markers the small area the small detail use the pencil and the thin marker to trace When you're done with the tracing, don't forget you have to remove the pencil outline, okay? So we can keep our drawing clean and neat, so it will look more professional. So we also can remove the fingerprint from our hands so the fingerprint is something looks like the gray spot on your paper like the smash okay so we have to remove the fingerprint as well so our paper can look clean Okay, so it's time for us to start to color. So you might need the sharpener beside you because you might need to use it very often and the pencil crayon for short. Then today we are going to do the mixed color. So we are not going to do the flat color. So every area you need to get two colors to do it, okay? Okay, I got my pencil ready. So the color blending, that's, re that's review it together. Okay, I start to do the wing so you know what we are gonna do. Okay, so this part, I'm going to color with one single color from dark, medium, and getting brighter. 
So I have three layers of the color volume. Okay, then I do upside down. Dark, medians, and light to the top, to the middle. Overlap the color. Dark, medians, light. Okay, so small area. They deserve to have their own color, so I'm not going to cover it. Okay, and try to smooth the color. So you can use any color you like. If you think that color looks great on your paper, so you can do it from up to down, and you also can color with side by side. Okay, you can color from left to right, right to left. It doesn't have to be up and down only. It could be right and left. As long as you are using two color to blending the color in one area. Okay. So it could be any way, any directions, any two color you want. I know it takes a long time to do the coloring, but it will turn out great when you finish. Okay, now you can begin to color. So make sure there is no white space, no white spots in between the color, and the color go very, very smooth. No rush, take your time, and don't forget to switch the color as many as you need. Take your time. I know there are a lot of detail to do, but it will turn great when you are finished. So don't forget we are doing color mixing for today. So try to use the color as much as you can and blending them and mix them for all the parts.
So make sure there is no white space, no white spots in between the color, and the color go very, very smooth. No rush, take your time, and don't forget to switch the color as many as you need. Take your time, I know there are a lot of detail to do, but it will turn great when you are finished. So don't forget we are doing color mixing for today. So try to use the color as much as you can and blending them and mix them for all the parts.
and feel free if you want to add some background okay but there is not requires to do the background but your choice you can add the background if you think the background can help you to complete your join and make your join looks even better okay otherwise don't add the background if you think the background is not helping okay so only thing that you can add the background or you need to add the background is when the background can help you to make your join looks more better okay And complete your join don't forget to find a place to sign the name and write down the date when you complete your join sign the name and write down the date 完成画作之后, 签下你的名字, don't forget to take a photo of your join and send it to us 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦 and don't forget to clean out the table before you go. Bye bye, see you next time.